So for me, it would be like develop the knowledge and uh, like the competency, the coaching competency. So competencies for me are like an attitude and knowledge combined together. You become more confident in what you're doing. And so there's a lot, a lot to be learned. And still to this day, I'm learning a lot through, through, through different, different means, through, through just conversations like we're having right now or conversation with other coaches. And so these competencies are really important early, I think, because the, the earlier, the, the earlier you will develop them, then the, the better you will have an understanding of the world that you're, you're entering as a, as a coach, you know, so I can give you an example in Canada, they orient us towards like when we do level four, you have different tasks to do, like a strength training task that is specific to volleyball, like in your level four, your high level. So you work with a strength coach about trying to understand what's happening. Some with sports side, um, okay, skill work, tactical stuff. We kind of know more, a little bit about these things, but by doing that, what happens is that as soon as you enter, uh, the realm of coaching and working with different specialists or working with those performance factor, you know, humans have, have brains, have emotions and stuff. They have a body, they have muscles you know, there's certain age levels. And the more you understand about these things, the more you're able to <clears throat> orient your work to develop those athletes, right? And often we can make mistakes if we don't have enough knowledge, we can leave it to a specialist. Like for example, I've seen it happen when our national team, I think it was 2009, moved to a new center. And then we had a whole brand new staff. And some of the staff in Canada, we don't have the leagues. So the knowledge is not the specific knowledge to volleyball in strength training, the medical aspect, you know, sports psych, not that much developed. So I needed to help my staff learn more about what the sport, what the specific needs are to the sport. And we work together and then you develop, you know, they develop their own competency in, in their specific field. but. I kind of needed to know, Hey, here's volleyball, here's how's volleyball, volleyball, for example, for me, is very much, it's a touch sport. It's a very unique sport because it's not, it's hard to compare. You don't hold a projectile. Projectile stays with you for a very short time. We know when you make the mistake, you make it, you can't hide it. Nobody can pull your shirt or, or elbow you or something like that. You cannot hide anything in volleyball. So there's an effect on. On the psychology of, of failure in volleyball, like is, is super important. Like, you know, if I don't pass well, if I get aced, how do I react after being aced, you know, as a receiver? So how do I work as a coach to give confidence that yes, this will happen. We want to try to reduce the fact that it will happen, uh, often and so on, you know, so, so developing those competency gives you a, a, a better understanding of the environment that you're going to work on and. When you set objectives to the athlete, um, then, you know, those different factors that you want to influence, which are, you know, social, emotional factors, technical factors, tactical factors, then you can, in a more easy way, develop your strategies with these specific athletes or teams and then move on. So that's what be my suggestion for a young coach is try to, you know, don't try to skip steps and the more, you know, the better it. The, the more you understand your environment and the easier it will be, you know, never really easy, but 